Thanks guys for taking a moment to listen to the Money Collier Report. I'm Money Collier. If you'd like to have a copy of my written theological journal, which is also titled the Money Collier Report, then send me an email to the email address you see on the screen, and I'll mail one out to you free of charge. In this segment of the Monte Collier Report, we're going to investigate the claim that the gospel is a command. The claim is being made by some people who profess to be reformed, and so this matter requires our immediate attention unless we allow them to mislead people. On a website titled ReformationTheology.com, an article appeared which was titled The Gospel, Offer or Command. The author of the article makes the claim that the gospel is a command. In a comment section linked to the article, individuals supporting the website uh, reinforce the idea that the gospel is a command. And these also are individuals who are claiming to be reformed. So again, this requires our immediate attention. The specific link to the comments attached to the article can be found at reformationtheology.com backslash 2005 backslash 10. So the points I'm going to make about this article, the claim that the gospel is a command, the points I'm going to make are very simple, they're very clear, they're easy to understand, but they're very critical. Uh, they're very critical in, in understanding what the gospel is. So let me emphasize again the importance of understanding what the gospel is. If you do not know what the gospel is, then how can you say you believe in it? In fact, this is a great way to witness to an individual. You might start by asking them, are you a Christian? Many people will say yes. Then ask them, well then could you please tell me what the gospel is? You'll be surprised at how many people do not know or cannot explain to you what the gospel is. If these people do not know the gospel or they cannot explain to you what the gospel is, then you might follow up with a question which asks, then what makes you think you are a Christian? Uh, the question, the follow-up question is not designed to be mean, but it's designed to make the person really reconsider what it is they believe. And they a lot of times will ask you, could you please tell me what the gospel is? So again, the point is, that we need to know what the gospel is. So let's go ahead and consider this claim made in the article. The claim again is that the gospel is a command. This is not true. The gospel is never in the imperative mood. The gospel is always in the declarative mood. It is a grammatical and a logical mistake to claim that the gospel is a command. Such a claim destroys the distinction between law and gospel. If you read the writings of Martin Luther or John Calvin, then you will notice that they labor very diligently to establish uh, the teaching that the law and the gospel are separate. They are not to be mixed. The idea that the gospel is a command destroys the distinction of law and gospel. And what you end up in is the Roman Catholic version of justification by faith and works. So. The danger of this teaching, the teaching that the law and the gospel are the same, or the teaching that the gospel is a law or a command, the danger is that it leads to Roman Catholicism. And so this is why we must address this immediately. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1-4, through 4, Paul presents to us the gospel. And you'll notice that the gospel is in declarative form. It's in declarative form because the gospel is propositional. Let's read this passage of Scripture. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4. Notice in the very first verse of this chapter in Corinthians, Paul says clearly, he says, I declare unto you the gospel. You see, the gospel is good news, and news is always declarative. News is always presented in declarative statements. 
The gospel is simply not imperative. It is by understanding and believing the propositions of the gospel that we are saved. Commands, by definition, are not propositions. This is why the gospel is not in the imperative mood. It is true that we are commanded to believe the gospel, but the gospel is declarative. It is a series of propositions. It is not a command. Gentlemen, let us remember that Calvinism is the logical, grammatical, contextual, and literal interpretation of the Bible alone. I would suggest the author of this notion, that the gospel is a command, to repent of this mistake and further study the issue. Go and read Dr. John W. Robbins' essays on justification by faith alone. You can read these essays at his website, trinityfoundation.org. They are excellent. You can find them in his archive. He's got a little button that says Essays. Click on that and read the essays. Alright, thank you a lot, and I hope this helps you guys out.